Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm Mrs. Swifty and today we're back in Planet Zoo. We're building another habitat today for our dedication zoo, which is our zoo here in Planet Zoo in sandbox mode, which it has every single exhibit is dedicated to one of my viewers. So thank you so much, Emma, for commenting on a video and asking for an Indian elephant habitat. That's what we're going to be working on today. Um, do remember to comment down below if you're watching this and you're, you haven't had a habitat in this zoo yet and you'd like one please just comment down below what animal you would like me to build you a habitat for and I will be more than happy to put it into our dedication zoo and honestly if you've already got a habitat in the zoo and you want another one then feel free to comment below and I might do you another one so um yeah like I said we're doing an elephant habitat today and having had a chat with Emma about what sort of habitat she wanted she said she wanted one with lots of water so I had a little bit of a think about it and I decided that I actually wanted to do a waterfall exhibit so you'll see that in a little bit um, when we in a minute we're going to get onto the terraforming and we'll put in a waterfall which is going to be pretty cool I'm really happy with how this habitat turned out I really hope you guys like it especially Emma Emma I hope you like it um yeah I just think I think it's really cool <laughs> I think it would be a really cool habitat to go to in real life um, but I spe yeah even in, in Planet Zoo I think, it, I think it turned out really nice so as you can see at the beginning there I had to change the safari track so we actually um, change it so that the safari goes through this area as well it actually includes uh, the elephant habitat as well as the lion habitat which is what it was already um, going through the safari ride so now when you go through safari ride which you'll see at the end we'll do a, a nice um ride we'll try it out and we'll see what everybody can see on the ride now you get to see both the lions and the elephants which i think is pretty cool if anybody watching this wants me to build them another african animal habitat i'd be more than happy to do that in fact i'd love to do that and we could potentially build it uh between where we have this elephant one and the lion one at the back where um currently the track goes through some open space we could put another habitat there and then the safari could go through that as well which i think would be pretty cool so do let me know in the comments down below if you would if you have an animal you'd like me to do and I'm more than happy to do you know we've got a lot of the big animals we've got this is obviously an elephant habitat we've got lions we've got um tigers got bed, red pandas if you ha want me to do us like an okapi habitat or a bongo habitat or you know just a sable antelope habitat something like that then or a zebra habitat you know comment down below please do and I would be more than happy to put it in this zoo for you so yeah we're just building the sort of mountain area now where the waterfall is going to come out from um i wanted it to look quite natural i didn't want it to look too man-made and i wanted it to look like it blended in with the rest of the uh the scenery so obviously we already have the rocky formation in the lion habitat anyway we have pride rock there which was jeremy's habitat again thank you jeremy for watching the videos uh jeremy asked for pride what rock so we put that in and we've also got the mountain range over by the red panda habitat which was the habitat dedicated to jamie thank you so much for supporting the channel jamie and uh yeah so this whole sort of back part of the park is quite rocky we also closer to the front of the park have the nile monitor habitat which is also in a cavern so there's quite a lot of like rocky formations in the zoo and I'm really liking the way that it's kind of coming together it's got quite a nice kind of consistency you might notice um if at any point I'm sort of zooming out a little bit that I have gone round and uh, updated all of the paths so um in the I think it was the snow leopard habitat which was the most recent one I think we did um I mentioned that I was trying to put the same fencing that we had at the entrance area around the zoo so that we had a bit of consistency because obviously each of the habitats are quite different but you want something that kind of ties it all together so um, I actually spent a little while to be honest uh, putting the same fencing and flowers around all of the paths now so even up over by the red panda habitat and the lion habitat and everything like that by the safari station you'll notice that the it's been updated so that it includes the uh, same uh, style of fencing with the flowers and the nettles and things so I think that turned out really nicely um, yeah so we're just finishing off the waterfall here I initially wanted had the waterfall just falling onto the water but unfortunately it was just too high a gap and it looked like the the water ran out before it got to the bottom and I just couldn't get it to look right so I decided to add in some rocks here um, 
and and that worked much better by putting the rocks in it looks more like the water was hitting the rocks there so i um had forgotten that i had um <laughs> turned back on aging and of course i wanted the game to be playing whilst i'm doing the waterfall because otherwise you can't see the water <laughs> so i needed the game to be playing and i was getting all these alerts so i disabled aging again but i did have to release a few animals that had aged up into adults so you'll have seen that a moment ago and then here i was having a little bit of an issue with the safari ride for some reason it wouldn't let me put the stations going in the other direction but they were fine going this direction so the safari now because it goes in the other direction <laughs> but i mean that it doesn't really make a difference it's totally fine um yeah, and like I say, it goes through the elephant habitat now, which is pretty cool. So, yeah, we're just finishing off the waterfall now, and you can see I'm testing out the safari ride just to make sure that it all works, that uh, they can go through everywhere, and that seems to be pretty okay. And then we put in this little staff area over here, and I also figure if we put any more habitats near here, these will be quite handy to have um, for other habitats as well. So we've got like a staff room and a keeper's hut and some... Um, water purifier and water temperature regulator as well because obviously we've got quite a lot of water in the elephant habitat and we don't want the water to be too cold so <laughs> uh, I thought it was important to put that in so we, we have got that we made sure we've got power we've got water we've got everything that we could need so just that little area over there and uh, all of this is connected to the path with staff paths and everything you'll see uh, you can see I moved the rocky formation that was originally the entrance to the staff path from the main path and moved it back a bit um, so that we could put this path in that goes up to the elephant enclosure that, so this path joins um, between the lion and the snow leopard habitat um, which I think works pretty well so I decided to put in this screen here so that guests uh, wouldn't stand on this slope and just look at the elephants from there because guests have a habit of doing that and it really really irritates me <laughs> so I didn't want them to do that I wanted them to walk up the slope and go and stand on you know under the waterfall and and go and see the elephants there and that does work quite well I think in the end so we just block off the uh the viewing point from there so we're putting in the sign now again thank you so much Emma for watching the videos and supporting the channel thank you for subscribing I know you're one of my original subscribers and I do just actually want to give a quick shout out and say thank you to everyone that has been a subscriber since you know early days uh, of my channel I know it's been a few months now I started uh, this channel last year in the summer I think it was maybe the autumn and I I'm well aware that my editing has come a long way <laughs> it's just come a very long way since I started and I just want to say thank you for you know sticking around because I know particularly the early day videos were not uh, that easy to watch necessarily so hopefully you're finding these videos much better and you're enjoying them please do let me know in the comments down below if you do like my videos if you think that they are still um, good quality if you have any recommendations for how I could do better then I would really appreciate that obviously I'm still learning I'm still getting getting better at this whole editing malarkey but I'm really enjoying it I'm really enjoying this kind of challenge of growing growing the channel and starting to see more and more people enjoying my videos so yeah do leave a like if you are enjoying this build video if you like my editing style or give me a comment if you've got any suggestions um, below that would be fantastic so we're building a shelter for the Indian elephants over here um, yeah it's pretty massive <laughs> but then they're elephants so I wanted to make sure they had a nice big little house that they could go into it's also got heaters in it so it'd be nice and warm in the winter they can go in there and, and chill and uh, you can get a really good view of this um, this shelter from the safari ride uh, if you're on the safari ride you can get a really good view of it so that's pretty good i decided to put a little bit more detail on these doors to make them look a bit more like doors and less like just some logs so we put a little like cross hatching of um, some wooden beams and things which i think worked pretty well and then we also add in some chains as well that kind of hold the doors back so so i think they turn out pretty good with the chains and stuff um yeah attaching the basically like holding the, the doors open um because i'm just you know i thought well they're elephants so they're gonna be pretty strong <laughs> and i wouldn't want the you know the doors flapping all over the place but i sort of imagined i wanted this to be a sort of area 
I know in the planet zoo, right, your keepers will just go in and they will like just walk amongst the animals, even the most dangerous animals. But obviously in real life, in a real zoo, you wouldn't just walk into an elephant habitat. <laughs> Um, you know, you'd have to like make sure the elephants were away somewhere else or something before you went into the habitat. So I thought, you know, I wanted to make it look as though they could be put into that nice big shelter area if the keepers needed to come in and do some repairs or if they needed to clean the habitat or whatever. So I gave it a sort of a concrete floor which is nice and wipe downable and you know, they can clean it easily. So. I think it turned out really nicely and here we're working on a water enrichment item it's a little um, waterfall archway type thing uh, that I put, decided to put in the water and we put some rocks underneath it so they can actually stand underneath it which is pretty good we're just putting a bunch of different enrichment on, or items around now and then I think we're gonna be starting on some foliage pretty soon so yeah I love Indian elephants they are pretty gorgeous I think we have uh, I have seen Indian elephants in zoos before I think it is Paynton Zoo in Devon which is one of our favorites whenever we go on holiday if we go to Devon we always have to go to Paynton Zoo my husband loves it there and they have a I think it's an Indian elephant called Duchess um, which I think I think I've talked about her in a previous video but she's getting pretty old now I don't I, I think she's still around I don't know it's been a couple of years to be honest since we've been to Devon so maybe I don't know she was pretty elderly so well, hopefully she's still okay if anybody knows comment below um if duchess is okay <laughs> um but she yeah most she was mostly blind and she did have other elephants with her at one point but um they either passed away or were transferred to other zoos but it was felt that duchess shouldn't be moved because of her medical you know needs being blind and such and being quite elderly so they decided to keep her there so she's there by herself but she does seem to be quite happy there um, yeah, yeah, she's a very sweet little elephant. I haven't, I don't think I've seen any elephants in any other zoos though. I think that is probably the only zoo I've been to that has elephants. Our local zoo, Marwell, that I talk about all of the time, <laughs> they do not have elephants, but they do have rhinos and plenty of other animals. So again, if you want me to build you any of those habitats, then let me know in the comments down below. I would love to do um, an aquatic animal. So we've got penguins and grey seals and uh, otters giant otters and dwarf caiman as well as obviously some like you know crocodiles and things like that so if you guys do want me to build you any of those ha um, habitats i would love to do like a penguin habitat or an otter habitat or something like that so um do let me know in the comments down below if you would be interested in me doing one one of those for you because i don't really want to just put random exhibits in the zoo it's our dedication zoo so every exhibit has to be like dedicated to somebody um, I did make some adjustments at the end. In fact, I don't even think you're going to see it, but maybe in an in a, uh, upcoming video I'll have to show you guys. I um, did actually put some signs near the entrance with each of our people's names on that have a, a habitat dedicated to them in the zoo. So we've got six signs at the moment by the entrance for uh, David, Jamie, Daryl, Jeremy, Hannah and now Emma. You guys have all got your names at the entrance of the zoo so every time we add in a new habitat that's dedicated to somebody new we will be putting their name at the front of the zoo as well which I think is pretty cool and obviously we always name the animals after the person who has requested the video and I'll try and also name the habitat itself after them as well. So we're just putting in a bunch of trees and things. I think I said this in one of my previous videos, but I like to put trees around the edge of the zoo. If there's a path where there seems to be a lot of space where you can't, uh, you can just see a very long way in the distance. So there doesn't appear to be anything there. Um, I like to put trees so that it kind of blocks the view a little bit and makes the park feel a bit more finished because otherwise it just feels really weird and empty because obviously any zoo in real life would have a fence around it. It wouldn't just be like, um, you know, in the middle of a field. <laughs> You'd have a big fence. But obviously our zoo isn't finished, so I don't want to go around and put a fence around the whole thing because we're going to keep adding um, animals. So I thought, you know, one way to get around it is to just block the view a little bit by putting a bunch of trees and things. So that's one of the things we do. We're getting in our elephants now and we do name them. We've got Emerson is our male elephant and then we've got three female elephants. We've got obviously Emma but then I had to come up with two other names so we've got for Emily and Em. <laughs> so Emma I hope you don't mind that we uh, did that a little bit. I had to kind of 
uh, yeah, come up with a couple of variations of your name, so I hope you don't mind. Here we are making our um, education board, um, and I kind of went a bit wild with this one to be honest guys, I had a lot of fun. <laughs> I made a little elephant with like eyes and a trunk that squirts water <laughs> and then we put the uh, education board like between his legs like it's his body or whatever and I think it looks so cool <laughs> I'm really happy with it I really hope you guys like it Emma especially I hope you like it um, but it's really cute and we put in the ear yeah, here we're putting in the little eyes uh, yeah I just thought it was really sweet so <laughs> we used this as our like education board the whole of the way around this habitat and yeah I, I'm not mad about it I love it <laughs> I, I honestly I love it so I love the little effect of the fountain like squirting out of his trunk which is really cute so um I, I did notice that everywhere that I put it like where it squirts is not actually going to squirt anybody so even here, like the squirt bit kind of finishes before the pass. So it's okay. You know, it's a bit of a splash zone because you're walking behind this waterfall, but it's not too bad. <laughs> so yeah, I just, I really loved the idea of walking through basically like underneath a waterfall for this exhibit. I just thought that would be pretty cool. So yeah, let me know if you like it, guys. <laughs> we kind of come into the end now, putting in benches and bins and you know donation bins and things like that I decided to put some fencing in there just to separate it just to separate the queues out a little bit for the shops so I think that's that and we're gonna get into the tour okay so here we have Emma's elephant enclosure Emma thank you so much for watching the channel for supporting the channel and for requesting an Indian elephant habitat really excited to show you guys this habitat I'm really pleased with how it came out I love the information board that I made with the little like fountain coming out I think it's really cute it looks like you know like an elephant that's kind of the point and we're gonna go up the the slope I hope that most of the um, guests are going to come up this way so we've actually blocked off the viewing this way just to encourage them to come all the way up so they get a really good view then up here of the elephants there they are so we've got um, Emerson the male elephant and we've got Emily and Emma and Em there's three female elephants there's one over there you can see over there and they've got this really lovely habitat we've got lots of enrichment items lots of water lots of cool things for them to do and of course this is our waterfall section which i thought was pretty cool i was really pleased with how this came out actually oh you look you've got a great view of the uh, red panda habitat over there and of course pride rock for the lion habitat and as you can see the safari goes through this habitat as well now so the safari will take you through both the lion and the elephant habitat now which is pretty fantastic oh he's having a little lie down over there that's nice um but yeah i thought this was pretty cool so you can come and like literally like walk under this waterfall to see the elephants i thought that looked pretty good so i hope you like it emma i really hope you like it um yeah you get a nice view over here as well there's some enrichment items and you can see their um, shelter over here obviously you get a better view of it um from the safari but that's kind of the idea because it's to encourage the guests to go on the safari so we'll go we'll go and have a go on the safari in a second just want to come down here and show you oh i just sort this bit out um that we've got some more shops down here so we've got another information board introducing the elephants and then we've got some water and some chips and just like a toilet as well just so there's a few facilities over here in case anybody needs to use them so let's head over to the safari and have a go through and see what we can see we should be able to get a good view of the lions and the elephants from the safari so we'll head on over to the queue hello oh i think i've got it on testing at the minute so i did have to re um apply the stations and it's actually going the opposite direction now so we're going that way now um, but I just couldn't get it to work the other way. So let's have a look here, shall we? Let's open it. And then let's uh, get in the ride. Camera, fantastic. All right, off we go on the safari. So I obviously had to change the route a little bit. So this route goes through the lion habitat, which you can see the lions over there. Hi, Jeremy. Still very proficient, still having lots of carbs. Oh, having a little swim. 
so sweet. And obviously some good shots of the lions from this from here, which is pretty cool. There's another cub. Oh hi! Hello little cub. Very sweet. And then we'll head through here. Just on some open area. And we could put another habitat here, of course. Um let me know if you have any suggestions or if you'd like me to build you a habitat, I'd be more than happy to do that. And then we head, of course, into the elephant habitat. Now, again, this is an Indian elephant habitat. We get a really good view here of their shelter, which I think looks pretty cool. I really like the way that we did the doors with the chains and stuff. And then we got, we're got we going to go over the uh, watering hole, which I think is a pretty cool uh, experience. So we've got some elephants over here. Hello! Very nice. And oh, look, we've got one swimming over here. Can you see? Oh, two swimming! They're enjoying the water. One there and one over here just coming out of the water. Hello! Very nice. So that's fantastic. Really good view of the Indian elephants. And then, of course, we still need to go up over our um, bridge through the lion habitat. So we're going to come back up over this way. So I suppose you get a little bit of a uh, double view of the lions from here. So yeah that's um nearly the end of this video guys if you've enjoyed this video please do give it a like and please consider subscribing if you're enjoying my videos because it just really helps out the channel if you do do that and let me know in the comments down below if you have a habitat you would like me to build you in this our dedication zoo in planet zoo i would love to build your habitat i don't currently have any other suggestions so i would love 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 you to comment below if you would like me to build you a habitat in one of the next videos um next next video i think will be us building a food court area over here near our safari station which i think would be pretty cool so i really hope you guys have enjoyed today's episode like i say please like and subscribe and comment down below um, if you want me to build you a habitat. Thanks so much for watching, guys. See you next time. Bye.